welcome and welcome to in part four. You missed the pain. Oh, you yeah. fucked up. Fucked up. No, I didn't. <laughs> what do you mean? I said in part four. This is part four. Yeah, but you said you said it after. No, you we... didn't say it anyway. in time though. <laughs> huh? You didn't say it fast enough. What do you mean? Sorry. The title card was gone. Uh. What's the point of having it there? <laughs> you, you know what? It makes it look pretty. <sighs> you guys are so rude. Oh, I try and oh, do something uh, different, but no, no, no one likes it. Something is opening oh, my door. Oh, it's my cat. My cat just opened my bedroom door. What? My cat just opened my bedroom door, looked in, and then walked away. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me out. My like, bitch, I didn't know you'd be in here. <laughs> Did you see that? Tom opened my bedroom door, peeked his head in, and then walked down the hallway. He peeped his head in. So you do need a phone charger? I'm also at 71%. Dicey. Okay, take it. Go on, then have it. No, no, actually, that's not my phone charger. It's my controller charger. <laughs> anyway. I'm counting on you. Tell that to Kanji Club. <laughs> that's in the Pokemon playthrough, mate. Wait, you only need the cord? You don't need the box? Well then take the green cord. Alright, back to where Gary is. Oh, great for- I know, sorry. Isn't this like puzzle, this character switching puzzle yeah. the most uh, complicated Me too. one in the game? Get out. Um, a high five. yeah, I would call it the most complicated one. I got a little uh, confused at the end of it. <laughs> you know, like when you have to go find all the different colored uh, balls? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's where, um, oh. I messed up a little. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look at what the bunny room looks like. Garrett, do you have, um... Do you have, uh, how many different colors of balls do you have, Garrett? Also, are you playing as Gary right now? Yeah. Yes. And he has double the health. Because yeah, he's, he's a got growing ten man. Petals. Yep. And this is what Ib and Mary weren't seeing because they've gone insane. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. Gary's the one that's not insane? Nope. But well, why would he specifically bring up that it doesn't look cute? Like, he was the first one to bring it up then. <laughs> no, he said it, he said it unsettled <gasps> him, and they're like, but it's cute. And he's like, no, no, it's oh, not. Oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> they're like, but it's so cute. And he's like, what the fuck do you think is cute? Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, that was a nice uh, view. Stare intently. <laughs> yeah, we, we ask the thing if it's okay if we can cross. <laughs> well, at least I was a little sound of made. At least it's polite and keeps its eyes closed. Yeah. That, Wait, what? That wasn't Why? a falling sound, that was a teleportation sound. <laughs> uh. Is Gary your dad? <laughs> 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 What if she was like, is Gary your dad? And you're like, no, you're my dad. <laughs> Don't you remember? So it could only be two. No, Gary is my lover. <laughs> <laughs> if there could only be two of you, who could leave? I'd leave with Gary. <laughs> Woo, yes. <laughs> you know, it's just being a what if. <laughs> <laughs> While she proceeds to go oh, cry in the corner, because so I would leave her behind. <laughs> the suspicion is real. So she meets she meets a group of two people, and then they get split up, and immediately asks the other person, "If only two of us can make it out, would you take me or the person you were already with?" And then she's like, <laughs> "The person I was already with, I just met you." And then she's like, "Oh, it was only hypothetical. It was just a prank." <laughs> <laughs> take it off. Oh, you broke it. Christ, Ib. Ib Butterfingers, that's what they used to call her. That, back in, uh, gonna... DP class. That's gonna oh yeah, um, one of the things you have to not do is break- Don't break all three of those. 
Um, only break, just thought I'd throw that out Only there. break the one you need. You can't break the one you need. You can have one slip up, but um, you can't break all three of them. <laughs> Ooh. I wouldn't breaking all three of them lessens your chance of it. Hello, what's happening? That was also just a guess. In case you're wondering. Mic quality is going down. Yeah, I know. Like we can oh, mine? We can is that better? That. There we go. Okay, sorry. It's harsher. <laughs> oh, now it's better. <laughs> okay. Um, I was moving around in bed a little bit. It's fine. I was getting comfortable. <laughs> hey, I have a bed now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. It's now a double bed now that's been cut in half. <laughs> I cut my bed in half, and now I have two beds. <laughs> <laughs> so isn't this this section just like backstory on the museum? It can be if you read all the stuff. It's just a little throwaway of just like she put everything she loved into her art or whatever. Oh wait, the artist is a chick. Yeah, Guertana. Okay, I never. Is Guertana still never like a dude man. artisan? I always assumed it was a dude. Well, then I guess I have to explain this part. So. From what I can surmise from my playthrough and others, um, the it's a very oh, here we go. It's a very throwaway. Let's hear some philosophy. <laughs> it's a very th throwaway line, but it's basically just she put every she put her entire soul into her art, and that's why everything comes alive and tries to kill you. Oh, okay. That's it. Question that makes mark? sense. Yeah. Artists are dicks. Question. <laughs> Mystery solved. This this doll doesn't want to be left alone. It's because your soul is inherently evil. <laughs> this sounds like Garrett whenever I don't talk to him immediately. Wait, you do you know. hate me? Why are you ignoring me? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. We're breaking up, isn't it? <laughs> uh, no, I was just using the bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Are we getting to the room soon? Oh yeah, that'll be coming up. I'm not sure if it's in this part, though. Oh, wait, it's called Freaky Dolls and Colored Balls, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Garrett, how many, uh, how many colored balls do you have? <laughs> Didn't you ask this already? Yeah, I can't remember your answer, though. Well, then you'll have to re-watch the part. Uh... Okay, so uh, I'm gonna guess three. <laughs> Chantel, can you confirm? Kill confirmed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I'm so proud. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it either. Why are you still in the room? <laughs> you fool. Because I had to grab that umbrella! Did you guys hear that spooky sound effect dot JPEG? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, the stock the sound effects are so great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've noticed that there's two different colored vases. What's the difference? Um, the one runs out after one use, and the one up in the corner that, that we just used has unlimited uses. Ah. Uh, I like your strategic mm. questions. Yeah, well, it's, we gotta stay on topic sometimes. Oh, wait, wait, I've I noticed, think... noticed a blue see, flower guys, look, with the look, number look, 10 look. in the left corner. You guys see the spooky doll thing? Uh, you see that spooky yeah, doll thing? Yeah. I see that. It, it was, um... When I, while I was recording this, I was sort of falling asleep because it was really late at night. So I stood there for a moment, and as I, like, sort of opened my eyes a bit, I saw that thing and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that story in there since it was relevant. Mm, I'm sorry. I was just trying to think of a strategic question to ask, but I couldn't. <laughs> Good, good story, I was still on topic. I was gonna ask something along the que along the lines of you hadn't seen that in your last playthrough. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, no, I actually didn't. I didn't notice that the other times I played this game. Never remind you. Oh. Like I might as well be holding cue cards in front of your face. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least I like remembered to bring that up on my own. 
<laughs> that wasn't there before. No, it wasn't. That wasn't there before. Neither was that. <laughs> it's like you have to go into the room that needs the colored balls for them to appear. You know what? I actually like this game. You like this game? You know, I didn't like Super Metroid, and I didn't like Sonic Adventure 2, but I kind of like this one. You actually didn't like it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like playing. What I'm saying is I like playing Sonic Adventure 2. I didn't really like watching it. Ah, that's, that's, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and... Uh... Backpedaling intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Words can't break me down. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just glad he, I picked a good first game. You didn't game like my game. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's your problem, mate? <laughs> Fucking creepy ass dolls. And then colored balls. <laughs> and colored balls, yeah. I really like the title I gave this. Yeah, well now I have to title it that or else it's not gonna make sense. <laughs> Well, it's a good title. <laughs> yeah, Chantal, why are you taking away Garrett's artistic freedom? <laughs> I'm allowed to have artistic freedom. Locked down. You know what? That's fair enough, I suppose. Am I allowed to have artistic freedom? No. No, don't mind uh, me, as I probably am just searching what year this thing was born in. Uh, is there any indication as to what year he was born in somewhere else? Um... Uh, yeah, you can Google it. Yeah. Surely. <laughs> um, I'm yeah. pretty sure... Yeah, you just... If you're stuck um, at you this know... part of the game, uh, Google it. <laughs> no, no, I'm explaining it right now. Um, you know that part where it, it been, uh, Mary were looking at books? Yeah. I'm pretty sure one of those three tells you the year that was born in. You seem very, very intent on returning to the title. I've noticed this part. What do you mean? You've pulled up the return to title screen twice. <laughs> oh, have I? Yeah. Oh. God, do you not pay Whoops. attention to what you're doing? That's, that's uh, that's one more time than once. <laughs> <laughs> so, sounds like you have okay. a real problem. Yeah, do you hate this game? An addiction, know? one might say. <laughs> no. Do you hate games? Are you a game no. fist? I, I, what do you want from me? Why is raining inside? My, my dad used to like to play games. You hate my dad? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, puzzle stuff. My dad stuff, played uh, the original Medal of Honor and James Bond games and got motion sickness from them. On the N64. <laughs> Look, we're no longer gonna die. My dad's no longer getting motion sickness. Because <laughs> he's, he's dead. Oh, well. He's not really, he's fine. But I, I sometimes I get motion sickness when I play Halo 5. Because it's just so very overwhelming. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm not young and sprightly Ooh. like I was back in 2011. Okay, no, <laughs> I'm legitimately going to ask. What causes those freaking bookcases to leave? Um, I'm assuming they don't open up until you, uh, do everything I just did. I don't know, it just happens. Well, yeah, that was useful. <laughs> Insightful I commentary. Assume, <laughs> it just I happened. assume you have to pull the lever first, which I just did, and that triggers those things to smooth. I assume that's what it is. Thank you for smoothing. <laughs> I played- I was trying to play most of this game without searching up what to do until I actually really needed it. Well, you shouldn't have to search it up. I thought you liked this game. I do like this game. I'm trying desperately to reach my mute button so I can sneeze, but now I don't need to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. What, are you crazy? I think this is the part where I- like, I didn't know what to fucking do at this point. Cause if loving you is crazy, then I'm going out of my mind. Okay. 
Eh? Yeah, let's just stand here for an hour. Let's look at the door. <laughs> Sorry. Did you guys, uh, I... I saw Zootopia recently. Oh boy. Oh, I think you brought that up before. Are yeah. you a furry now? In, in one of our videos? I don't I, remember. Oh, I always have been, But, um... I, yeah, I love I how that part that's... doesn't actually fade out, by the way. Nah, man, it's, it's the end of the part. We'll figure out how to move that statue later. Tune in to David's Zootopia rant next time on Death Valley. It's a good movie. <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to talk about the furry orgy that happened, but the, I guess we're out of time for that, so.